Good morning and win today, children of God. Beloved people of God, the people of God that my Father has chosen, you are welcome. I hope that you are all blessed and I know that you are blessed because when God is for you, who can come and oppose you? Nobody. We are blessed and I love you with the love of God and even Father God love you because he chose you, children of God. He chose you to be his sheep, disciples of children of God. May God bless you for listening. May he protect you from every wicked, evil enemy. That when he look or she look at you, whether at work or wherever or neighbors, she look at you with her haunted eyes like as if she can kill you, she can destroy you. May God revive you in Jesus' mighty name. You are welcome, children of God, again. And the Holy Spirit is still with you. And I will thank Master Jesus for reviving us, for fighting us from blockages, bondages of Satan. All his agents, whatever they are trying, our Father revive us. Revive us. You must sin far, children of God. Worry. Yes, we got attacked at night, blockages, they fed us. But always remember that it will never harm you. It shall never prosper. Our Father cannot lie. So in that, those challenges that we are passing through, we shall be strong in the Lord. Because our Father is with us. You are welcome again. And those who didn't yet subscribe, please, when you pass this channel, subscribe. Help us to win souls. Help us to win souls because by sharing and giving those who think that they will need it, this link, it is to win a soul. You are winning the soul. And Father God, he will reward you himself, people of God. So you are welcome again. Now we will pray. We will pray. And uh, uh, allow the Holy Spirit to come down and take control. So children of God, Let's close our eyes and welcome Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you, Spirit of the Living God. Holy Spirit, your God, there's none like you. Father, as we start this day, descend your power, your anointing, wherever they are sitting, where we are sitting. Protect us from the evil one, darkness, demons. Father, protect us, Holy Spirit, and fight for us, Lord. Father, open our heart and connect with it, with the Holy Spirit. Let our heart, Lord, remain be your resting room, your prayer room. And let the Holy Spirit, Lord, fill us. Fill us, Spirit of the living God. Fill us, Ebenezer. Fill us, my Lord and Savior. We need you, and we know that, Lord, you love us more than ourselves. So, Holy Father, come and fill us, and have mercy on us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Children of God, as I said it, that it is a day we know that there is a day of prayer. Thursday, there's no devotion and Tuesday. It's only prayer, one prayer. Because remember, we have devotions, daily devotions, and that's every day. But because Tuesday and Thursday is a day for prayers, for your prayers, I don't preach a lot. I will be just giving you a script to read, that is Psalm 68, that you will be reading it. And is Psalm 68 is from verse 1 to I'll tell you now.
Yes, from just one to verse ten. Verse one to verse no, verse one to verse nine. Psalm sixty eight, verse one to see Psalm sixty eight, verse one to verse nine. That's what you will be reading today, children of God. You have to read it slowly, attentively today, even tomorrow morning, until I send a devotion. You will be reading that one, child of God. Open your heart always when you read, because you are speaking with your father. So, we will be talking about the the topic is about the the stuff that um, all witches, wizard, satanic agent has buried. Whether it's your certificate. And when they bury it, they lay cases on it, whether it's certificate, whether it's finances. And mostly, if they don't do that in their altars, they do it in your yard. There is a specific place, sometimes it's invisible in your yard, or in your, usually they do it in your yard or their altars. Their altars is when they have taken it and possess it. So in their altars, what they use usually, it will be like a doll. That is a doll as a human. When you are a man, they will design a male doll where they will light all their black candles and put you inside and roll the cases and put needles there if they want to torment you. They will choose in any body part and put a needle. When a person says, I have a sharp pain, it's like a nerve shirt pain, that they are piercing me, like they're piercing. They choose. When they want to torment your eyes, they go to the eyes and pierce the eyes. When they want to go any part of your body or your heart, they do that. So when you are not strong in prayers, you end up sleeping in hospital and you were told that they don't see anything. They will tell you like one time. I remember they told me, no, they put ECGs and all this stuff. But your heart is as strong as a horse. Ruth, we did two tests. We don't know what's your problem. So you'll end up like that because by then I was still in a low, low, low level. Though I was chosen because I was young, I didn't know what was happening. So... They put that doll and they name him after your name. And remember, children of God, they will be using your, they start if you are Ruth Tiny. My name is Tiny Ruth. And then the prophet says, Tiny has to go, you are Ruth. But when they curse, they go according to the way it is on your eye. You are Mutalipule Cecilia, Lingue. Then they said, when they kiss you, they don't make a mistake. They will say, Mutalipule Cecilia, Lingue, I pierce you, I do this, I kiss you. And when you are married, you must stop to pray to say, hey, uh, tiny, uh, tiny Ruth Errington, oh, Ruth Errington, my God, I, Ruth Errington, no, you are cursed by your father's sin name. As long as you pray, you have to call your father's sin name if you are married. You cannot call Harrington. Harrington, the family of Harrington didn't curse me. The family of Harrington were not there when I was born. The family of Harrington, when they come to torment me, they don't know all <coughs> the Mtlanga clan, how they do their stakazal, I don't know. I forgot that term in English. 
So they don't know. They must do that when they come and bewitch you. When they reach on the street, they must start to do that thing because it's not because there are witches. I can say that it's enchantment in witchcraft ten, but in a normal ten, it's not enchantment. There is a a way to call all your is a surname like I am Shangam Dube. Then I'll say Mshanga Dube. Hey, what, 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 what? So that then give us a way we are here. They do those things. And because when I grow up, I think it was because of coding. People of God, every witch that was close to me, like as a family or someone that I didn't know that she practice witchcraft. They will come and tell me straight, like, you know, you know how people bewitch other people, and then I said no. And I was young. Then they will tell me how it's done. I don't know in their mind, they wanted me, because I was young, to say show me. But I will look at them and I won't tell my mother. And they will tell me also that I don't tell anyone. But and not one, I'm sure twice, two, two people told me, even to show me how they do it. Mm. So, so, children of God, as long as you pray, like when you break uh, violent prayers, where I said, put your names, you put, you start with your second name. You do that. You, when you pray, always, as long as you pray for altars, as long as you pray for bondages, blockages, you have to do that. Because that's how they use the names to torment your children of God. So we must also give them back to what they have uh, 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 done to us and send it back to them by making them to taste their own medicine. So, children of God, we will be praying. And what they do, as I was speak, busy speaking, uh, explaining about the buried, they take certificates, they bury them. Sometimes they use padlocks, they will chain them. They curse in that padlocks. Then when they chain them, they will bury them. I remember, I don't know when, it was not once, twice in my yard, because I called one guy from Zim, who is an agriculturist, to come and study, he had studied agriculture, to come and design my garden. I used to have a garden that in my yard, because the soil is fertile, you get every kind of veggies from lettuce, strawberries, whatever parsley. But I stop it because demons hijacked it. So uh, when he he dug that place, when he dig that place, he found that there were a two or three virus there. Then he called me Mama because it's a Christian come see. And I said, ah, it will work, it will never work here because he already saw it throw it. You, you understand. So, they, they don't mind that they go there. And whether it's in the foundation, whether in the foundation of your house, or in the kitchen, or where, why they love kitchens. Kitchens that are pipes of waters because they connect to the evil rivers. When you hear me praying and saying that I cut all the linkage linking to bathrooms and the kitchens. Same as bathrooms. They will connect in the walls where the pipe are. Same in the showers. So that's why sometimes when Holy Spirit says, stand up, anoint the showers, go to all these bathrooms and anoint. I'll do that. Though I don't go back to, to, back to where the the kids are about the don't want to disturb them. And uh, I don't I just say give them anoint them what I say, anoint your bathrooms. But when God speaks, where there's a pipe, 
of anointing water. Sorrow of water. That's where they come. That's where you need anointing water. I've been shown a lot of secret children of God of how they operate when I'm sleeping. Or sometimes I'll be washing dishes and say, no, there's something that is not good because immediately after a second, I'll pick it up where it's this wrong, something wrong. And I could feel it in the hand. The hands will complain. My elbows, my body, because my body is sensitive. And then when, if I, I can get there, sometimes after that I'll have a very tired, as if tired body, as if I drink tablets of sleeping, ta sleeping tablets. Then when I see it, I'll doze. Immediately I doze, I'll see the problem. Like one time then I'll see that the tiles of the a zinc where you wash dishes the way you decorate on the wall that's where they put something so they love them because those pipes to them it join nicely with their evil rivers then they connect you to marine spirits and they say all avenue of everything and then you surprise that whatever you speak then when you dream you'll hear them saying that uh so and so. Then answering to what you were speaking during the day. They send monitoring spirit there. They block there. They do a lot of things, children of God. Do the same avenue. All the same link that they open. So we also have to be always have wisdom. Pray for wisdom. That's why when I pray, I won't finish by not calling wisdom and authority to and Father God to invite him to speak in your heart. Remember, we fight principalities. Principalities, my people, they are the last number ranks of demons who are whom are with Satan where in the second heavens, the throne of Satan. So we are fighting principalities. Principalities are the one that immediately, when they say one of my family is a demon, they are the one they hijack the heart and control it. And that heart, they will in turn use it as your brother, your sister, to torment the whole family. To open an avenue through the heart of the wicked one. So it's so vital that you pray for the people when you say, my brother, God, if you had, why my sister is like this? Pray for them. Pray for them. They don't know what they're doing. They're in dark. But when you pray that for that person constantly, and the person doesn't want to change, leave it for God. Judgment will follow. Sin kills. It kills. So children of God, we have to be clever on that. And then when they take a photo and go and put it with a padlock and put all their juju smoothies there and lock it there and said, I curse Ruth Harrington. She will never get married. Children of God, you will never get married. You'll get married, you stay a year or five months, and you will come back. We are praying against all items buried today. We want to seek the face of God to uproot it. His hand is so mighty, he will uproot it. As long as when I finish to pray, these prayers are not time bound. You repeat it. You go to the page. You repeat it. Prophetess Lucetta like that. She will tell you the prophetess Ruth the way I was feeling, I was attacked. I just said, no, let me go to that prayer. Uh, a, a prayer that Prophet Esther Ruth did last when, when, when is the one that I connect. She always have one or two that she connect when I post. And then she go and open says, I vomited. I pray with it. I vomited. So you have, it doesn't, it's not time bound. As long as that one prayer is there, 
There's no type of prayers that I didn't do in this page. But if you pray with the child of God and you open your heart, you will be like my niece in Lipo. Ntwani cannot pray without saying that, and when I finish, I was sweating. And when I finish, something was like coming out. So you have to do it open-hearted and concentrate on that. Do not let anything distract you if you want to. It's like when you do a self-deliverance of stronghold. So we are dealing with it now. Padlocked finances. Buried certificates. Then that photo of yours, they will take it it's nearly but not the same like when they create a spiritual husband for you. A spiritual husband, remember, they use all your ex a boyfriends or your husband. That's how they do. And when you said, I dream always sleeping with my husband. No, you're sleeping with a spiritual husband. So once you sleep with it, and always, always bear in mind, when you dream of the spiritual husband, or a man want to propose to you, or a man luring you in the dream, there is a breakthrough coming to you. As soon as we had such dreams, pray like never before and said, I soak my breakthrough with the blood. I'm fighting you. You will never take my breakthrough. And you soak it with the blood and say, Father, release a fire. No spiritual husband will come and block me. It's same as when you are fed at night. The minute they feed you, there was a breakthrough coming. This is blockages. Feeding is different because one they feed is blockages and putting all the kind of disease incurable ones. But when you dream, you are a dreamer. You will dream and when you dream in the morning, you flash. And then flash is to take the anointing water and declare for the God. Even normal water that you have, as long as it's not from the pipes. The still water that you put, you put in for the God in this anointing water by the power that you use to change water to blood, to be wine. I let you have that power. Fill this water. As I'm drinking, my father, I believe that whatever I ate at night, when I drink it, it will flush every person. You have used your faith. And so shall it be. It will be like that. They are clever, so we need also to be clever through the wisdom of God that always when I pray, I declare wisdom to you. So they can take a photo, your photo, as a woman and go and bury it and they check in the house, any place in the house or outside or the ceiling or the roof when I say between the walls. I used to sit in my bedroom and witness the snakes between the wall. Then I would say, what was fire snake, where are you going? So imagine if you don't see, children of God, how many do they harbor and nest and torment you? Right in your room, in the wall, right in the ceiling, when you are sleeping. That's how they operate. So a lot of things, there are things that I, I learned through my spiritual father. But other stuff I learned through by seeing it. That's why I said, when I tell you what I wear, how, what I passed is too much. I can write a book. So devil think is clever. We know how he operate. So there they will take that photo, bury it there, and they write on the back of the photo. They write with a language of, they have that language. Hence we have that one, language of tongues of heaven. They are tongues, when they say there are tongues of Satanist tongues, those are the tongues that they cast. They will write at the back of your photo and they will bury it in your yard or wherever. Then you, everything about you stone. So there are those that they bury, but now we bury certificates. She will never work. She can be top on the class. She can have graduated with one math and physics. She will never have favor. And those are scarce girls. You graduate, you are not called. So that's why we are going to pray about it today. Then when they got access, when they send their rights to take your underwear, to take your ID, to take whatever document, that's how they used to cast and block. ID got a photo there.
So these prayers are not time bound. You have to always pray with it and use it. So, child of God, you will hold, uh, touch whatever you want to touch your hand, your head, your forehead, touch your forehead, touch your eyes, where you have pains, touch your heart. Uh uh, this one, sorry, Holy Spirit has spoken already. Disregard everything. You have to touch your heart, children of God. Your heart. The, in these things, devil use a heart, then connect with the left leg, the vein, and then it's where they connect mostly when they bear your stuff. When you are tied on your chest and the heart, you can t touch your stomach. You are never. In Jesus' mighty name, open your heart. Child of God, now we'll start. You people, beloved children of God, you chosen one, start now by telling our Father, yes, let's talk to our Father to forgive our weaknesses. Weaknesses, not sins, weaknesses. We have weaknesses. Holy Father, here we are. As I are calling you, Lord Jesus, have mercy on them, the weaknesses that they have, Father. They don't want. Like hands, Apostle Paul said it. The things that I don't want to do, I do it most. But the things that I don't want to do, the things that I don't want to do, I do it most. But the things that I must do, I don't do it. So, Holy Father, forgive us our weaknesses. Forgive them, Lord Jesus Christ, their weaknesses. Holy Father, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord. Father, as we come to you, Lord, purify us. Sanctify us, Lord. Father, open my Father, my Lord. My Jesus Christ. A way for us, Lord Jesus. Open a way for us, Holy Father. And Father, fight for us. Where that sitting all goes blood. Where that sitting all goes blood flow. Where that sitting power of the Holy Ghost. Where that praying from, listening from, power of the Holy Ghost, descend. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. My Father, here are your children. Tormented. Facing challenges. Others they can't sleep at night. Frustrated. Others are filled of doubt. If you are still alive. If you are still on the throne. Arise mighty Lord Jesus. They have been caged left and right. Their spirits don't have further peace. Their budgets are low. Holy Father. They don't know what to do, my father, my Jesus. They just want shelters, homes, cars, and they want to be married to others and to be settled. But darkness is blocked. Oh, Holy Father, descend. Holy Ghost. My father, my redeemer, he who sits on the Father's throne. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Son of David, have mercy on them. Yes, may so on them. Yes, I pray, opening, open, opening the heart, Lord. Link them with the Holy Spirit to fight for them. To break every stake, stop on darkness, demons, yokes, chains. My Father, my Lord, touch them. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, come down. Holy Ghost, fire out the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, be released. Holy Ghost, fire out the Holy Ghost. Blood, I invoke your power, Lord. Scatter, search, and destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire. In the compound, the houses, their compound, the houses. The compound on the corners, the houses on the corners, the center. The foundation of their compound, the house, their gates, the streets. Holy Ghost, fall down. Holy Ghost, search. Holy Ghost, Father, locate every content that which is as open. Content that the witches and enemies has open. Father, locate it, locate it. Locate it, uproot, Lord. Locate, Father, uproot it. Uproot everything that they bury there. Father, every item of a child of God is buried there. Every photo, 
that has been buried and believed where the darkness, evil jujus, curse is moody, be broken by the power of the ghost. Holy Ghost, fire and release the photo of the child of God. I break and release the photo of the child of God. I uproot every photo of the child of God. The curse that the curse a child of God not to marry. The curse a child of God not to marry. The curse of child of God that Father I must sin, she must sin prosper. Be broken, I use the sword of the spirit. Come on. Or it was fire, I cut it off. Or it was fire, I cut it off. I release the foot of the child of God. Be restored, the foot of the child of God. Go back to the owner. I take the foot. I dip it inside the blood. I render it powerless by the power that planted this. By the power of resurrection power. I restore the face of a child of God. The life of a child of God that was doomed because of a buried foot in Jesus' mighty name. The thing of God and restoration, restoration power in that foot. It has been uprooted, uprooted. I don't care how it's buried, whether it's buried inside a cage in a heart or their yards. I don't care by the power that resurrected Lazarus. Resurrect the foot of Lord and break it loose and wipe the kisses, the blood, with the blood. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, descend. Any father photo of a child of God that was locked in a petrol. Lord, that father, no movement, no destiny. And then they stole the virtues of a child of God. They stole the free wisdom. They stole the calling of a child of God. By the power that goes, I break you loose. The power that destroy and cut off the chains that were coughing, Paul Apostle, sorry, coughing, Paul and Silas, be broken. I use that power to break that chain, to break that padlock, to disconnect the padlock. And I bend that padlock with the burning sulfur. Release the child of God. Be released, child of God. Take your life back, child of God. Be released by the power of the cross. Take your, your freedom, child of God. Possess all what belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Power of the Ghost, thank you, Lord. My father, there are certificates that are buried in that convent. On top of the certificates, Lord. They wrote curse words that the child of God cannot never work. A child of God will never get businesses. A child of God never get promotions. A child of God will never who will you she will be useless or will be useless. You witches, you enemy, you satanic principalities. What are you doing to the children of God? By the power of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. Come out in their lives. Come out in their certificate. Bury certificate. Be uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bury certificate. Be unified. Every curse. Be burned. Be destroyed. I render every curse on top of your certificate. Powerless. The sword of the spirit and the finger of God on top of those certificates. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire, burn, finger of God. Destroy, nullify the curses. Break it, the blood. The blood of Jesus wipe every curse. I disconnect it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I retrieve all the certificates of the children of God. You are going back to the old. You are going back to the owner. The curse words and those padlocks are broken. But the power of the Holy Ghost are disconnected. 
The fire and the blood is on top of those certificate. Now I declare freedom on top of the certificate. I declare power of the Ghost on top of the certificate. I soak them and dip them inside the blood of Jesus. I retrieve all your future through the certificate. Your businesses through those certificates. The favor through those certificates. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, descend, my Father. Scatter, burn, search, and destroy. Uproot every buried Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Father. Buried organ of a child of God. Whether it's a kidney, a lung, a heart. Whether it's a brain and the eyes. The intestine. The fallopian tubes. That they say they will never get children. That is buried, Lord, in the yard. That they feed the kingdom of darkness. And the kidneys. That they fed the kingdom of darkness. And all wicked evil birds of Satan. That are living. Connecting when a child of God is feeling the pain on the kidneys, on the intestine, the fallopian tube are blocked. It is because they've buried it. By the power of the Holy Ghost, revive kidneys, the lungs, the organs, intestines, the liver, the pancreas, all, everything that is an organ, the eyes, the brain. Revive, resurrect, be resurrected. Wherever they bury it, the blood of a child of God, where they bury it, the cells, resurrected by the power of the Holy Ghost, locate us, locate us, our families, our children. I silence the pain that is connected where they bury it. We took back our healthy organs. Be possessed, your organs. You are kidney, your heart, the veins of the heart, where they bear and connect you and torment you. Holy Ghost, fire to those others, where they pierce your heart with a nick, pierce your kidneys, and damage you that you must have operations. I silence you by the power of the Ghost. Be silenced in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fall and destroy. Power of resurrection, burn, scatter, destroy. Search and uproot the buried organs, my father. Resurrect, I declare healing. Power of the Ghost, I declare healing. Yelling in our body, slow system. Yelling in the organs, the brain, the eyes. The eyes that they stone it, and father. And cause blindness. Where I drive all the eyes of the children of God, where they are buried, be retrieved. And the powder goes. Brain, blood clots. We retrieve the normal brain. Fire burning self on top of the nickels. Burning self on top of the poison and the curses that they cast their body parts. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire, such and pain. Uproot the organs. Pancreas. We take the healthy ones that the Father God has created. You created, created, created it when you created us. We possess them. Your kidneys, your lungs, your heart, your veins of the heart. Yes, no blockages, no hypertension that you created. Sending all your wicked, demonic principalities to create all the disease and your potent in our bodies. Resurrection power in our organs. Resurrection power in our blood, you dirty blood, be purified by the power of the ghost. You dirty kidneys, lungs, dirty bones, dirty flesh, skin, dirty bones, fingers, dirty eyes, blind eyes, dirty brain with cloth. I said now, one, two, three, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, flow, get out. Thing of God on top of the brains, the eyes. I declare healing. I declare, I declare deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Be delivered. Receive freedom. Be healed. Receive healing. In Jesus' mighty name. 
resurrection power to the sons, the blood. Resurrection power to the kidneys, the lungs. Resurrection power to the intestine. Resurrection power to the kidneys. Resurrection power to the pancreas, the veins of the heart. You shall pop, no man. I ban all your linkage coming from all your continent. Where you bury the lungs, the kidneys, the body parts. Holy Ghost, fire destroy you. Take all your darkness that you polluted their bodies, their fluid and system. Go! Power of resurrection. Power of resurrection. Resurrect their bodies. Our body flow system. The cells. Resurrect it. The blood. They break every darkness. Come out. Be broke and burning sulfur. I release the children of God. I declare healing. You are healed. You are delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Buried finances. Locked in a padlock. What are you doing with witches? You bury finances. You lock them with a padlock that they must remain. When you stole that hundred rand, you said she or she will live with that hundred rand, meaning small finances. You stole the finances. You send the evil serpents dealing with finances to steal all their riches. Now, whatever you buried, I don't care how many, how much, in that yard, in that ground. My father, the power that shook, according to the book of Psalm 18, let it shook, uproot every buried finances, buried in the houses, or buried in the kingdom of darkness, or buried in the satanic kingdom. Holy Ghost, descend, Holy Ghost, fire, strike, burn, uproot. Holy Ghost, fire, uproot our finances. Break all those virus. Padlocks, be broken virus. Padlocks, be destroyed. Release the finances of the children of God. Release it. Release it. Release the finances of the children of God. Why do you release all their businesses again? Release their finances. Their prosperity. Their destiny. In Jesus' mighty name. Be uprooted, angels of God. Uproot every buried item of the children of God. My Father, send your legions, your power. Blow everything that is buried in our ground. We possess all our possession. It's high time, my Father. Whatever they buried, Lord, by the power of the ghost, retrieve it for your children. Let them receive back their finances. Take back your prosperity. Receive your destiny. Take whatever belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name, dear Lord. Thank you, Father. My Jesus. The evil clay pots that are buried inside this water. Where babies of serpents are hiding in the foundation of the houses. And are busy militating curses for the children of God every day. And they've opened a tunnel to connect to the rivers of darkness, evil rivers. Connected to the, all the altars of witches and wizards. I power, I call the power of the ghost. Resurrection power. Father, destroy the clay pots. Break the clay pots. Remove the waters inside. Let it dry up. The eggs of the serpents be broken. The serpents inside. Evil snails. Evil scorpion spiders. Familiar spirits that are swimming inside that water. Be broken. Evil goblets. Yes. I don't know goblet or goblet theology. Whatever they are hiding inside that water. Holy Father. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Break all that crown. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire their eyes. Holy Ghost, fire their powers. Father, let the sword of the Spirit and the axe of fire destroy them. 
Yes, every corner of the house, the yard, where there is a convent with a snake inside. Serpent, monitoring serpent. Yes. Children of God, other serpents. They are even moving, parading in your yard, day and night, but you can't see it. While they are parading, they are doing cases. You snake, doing cases, coming from foundation. You are parading, cursing the child of God. I silence your mouth. I know you are a human being. Cast the fire in your mouth. Fire in your tongue. Fire in your teeth. Be broken. You are half demon. Fire in your teeth. Burning call of fire. Acts of fire. Sword of the spirit. Chop it into pieces. Release the children of God. Come on, out. What was fire? Take all your curses. Carry it and die. You are going back to the pit of hell. Go and die. Die, I cry. And cut all your brain. I cut your eyes. Get the Holy Ghost. You python, serpent, witchcraft, serpent. Yes, evil pots. Where you are staying, you are babies, you are eggs, you are insects, you are familiar spirits. Where you connect, witches and wizards. And the foundation, on the, on the center of the house, the corners of the yard, the gate, Holy Ghost, dry up evil wicked waters. I break you loose, you evil clay pot. I cut you into pieces. The sword of the spirit, the axe of fire, cut it, cut it, Lord, your arm, cut it, my Jesus, enough is enough, and so that evil waters, they too, they do put even the ideas to soak it inside the waters. They sell the children of God to snakes. Father, I burn it. Holy Ghost, sword of fire, the arm of my father, destroy the clay pot, break it loose. Destroy it in the cases that is written on that clay pot. Be broken and disconnected. Holy Ghost, fire be disconnected. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire be destroyed. Be broken into irreparable pieces. You shall never torment the children of God. Go out. Go, I break you. Release. Retake freedom, child of God. Receive freedom. No more bondages. No more caged. You can never be caged until, until. Because fire in those cages. Be broken. Mad. I use the burning self book of Psalm 11. I roast all your cages. Release the children of God. And I roast all your pot clays. Go. Become irreparable and ashes. Evil giant snails. They are half human. Staying on the center of the houses. Are buried there. Walking through tunnels. To come and torment the children of God. You shall never cast this one. Holy Ghost fire in your crown. With all my evil giant rats. Fire in your crown. Fire in your eyes. I bear you if anyone of the child of God listening that is linked to the wicked evil snake, wicked evil rat, receive freedom. I break it loose. Be disconnected. I cut you off. Die, you wicked snake. Die, you wicked evil serpent. Snake, snakes, you evil snake that will cause them everything of their life to walk slow, to go slow. I break all your cases. Go. You are out. I disconnect your chain. Lose your grip. Come out in the foundation where you are buried. I break and disconnect and burn all your babies. Be destroyed in the yard of a child of God. Holy Ghost, fire and all your babies of red, you wicked giant red. Holy Ghost, fire. I disconnect you ancient red. Ancient dragons, ancient snakes harboring on the foundation, opening a storeroom to steal all their finances and send it to the satanic kingdom. Be broken. Holy Ghost, fire, fire in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, sword of the spirit. My father, power, release the call of fire. The burning hailstone, roast it, be destroyed permanently in Jesus' mighty name. Release the children of God. Take freedom, child of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, my Father, my Lord, any house of a child of God that is listening, that has a convent, an altar buried, opened by witches, that is invisible, connected to satanic kingdom. All the cars, 
They are calling. Everything about their lives is connected to the satanic kingdom. When a child of God starts to pray, there is a light there showing Satan that a child of God is praying. And then he goes there and casts more and more. That evil powers receive the acts of fire. Holy Ghost, acts of fire. Holy Ghost, sword of the spirit. Holy Ghost, acts of fire. Break it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, be broken by the power of the Ghost. Be disconnected. I break that linkage. I break that grip. Release the stuff of the church of God. Release that calling. I break the bondages, blockages. Be broken. Connecting to them and buried through the foundation of the house. Release them. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire, sword of the spirit. Break it, lose it. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Father. My Father, my Lord. Any buried clothing of the children of God in the houses that were taken by evil reds. Reds are specialists in witchcraft that steal. They steal finances, they steal clothing and items. Whatever item of the clothing, clothing that they will cut as a piece, that they even dream or they cannot find it, that is buried in the foundation. As a contact point, receive the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire, power of resurrection. Holy Ghost, stand out, Holy Ghost, break it, burn. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, I burn it. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release the children of God by the power of my Father. My Jesus Christ. He sit, He will sit on the Father's throne. Break it, this Lord. Every property as a clothing that is in the foundation. Connected to witches, to wizards, to satanic kingdom. Be broken, Holy Ghost, fire. Be unified by the power of Ghost. I declare freedom. I possess it back. Father, by the blood and the father goes, I take it. I silence right witchcraft in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My Father, my Lord, we thank you for your power, Lord. Any father of the children of God, the nails that they move it from the villages and they bring it to their yard and open a convent. That's how they, they do every now and again. Every day, every minute. To move altars. When they're banned, they move and create another one. And create it, come and create it in the houses. And bury their nails. They open the altar of invisible, of darkness. Operating in the same yard in the house. In the foundation, the corners. The walls, the ceiling. To torment the children of God. Wherever, whatever they put there. The blood. Or it might be the blood or the hair. All the nails, Lord Jesus. My Father, by the power of resurrection. Resurrection power that rise Lazarus. Resurrection power that open the tomb. Resurrection power manifest. Burn it, Holy Ghost. Flow, rain, Holy Ghost. On top of the houses. Foundation, the walls, the ceiling. Search and destroy every wicked altar. Burn, I disconnect you. All does from the father's side. All does from the mother's side. All does from enemies and watches. Burn all those thunder fire. Ancient altars. Cast the Holy Ghost. Ancient altars. Cast the Holy Ghost. Cast the sword of the spirit. Be broken. Ancient altars. Be broken. Holy Ghost. Destroy those altars. Be burned, you altars. Ancient altars. All the forefathers. Cast the burning sulfur. By the power of God. Be the Destroyed by the power of God, being unified, blood of Jesus, fire of Jesus, Holy Ghost on top of those altars. I run at them powerless. No darkness, no witchcraft, no Sangoma spirit. Welcome and connect to all the children of God and our lives. Holy Ghost, wicked altars. That is happening. Ancient dragons, ancient snakes in the houses, ancient pythons, wicked spiritual 
the houses, weak as spiritual wives, operating in the houses, in the foundation, and those altars, cast the burning self, call hailstone, thunder beside, rapture fire, disconnect, scatter and burn. In Jesus' mighty name, all those fire sites destroy, uproot. My Jesus, release your children. My Jesus, give your children freedom. My Jesus, open the way for your freedom. My for your children, a freedom to your children. Make a way for them. Connect with them. These blockages that is emanating from the all the evil altars, ancient dragons and snakes blocking, deceiving their mind in the houses. Be broken. All of us. Fire, fire, foundational household, storehouses of darkness of witches connecting because of moving from the villages from nearby to come and help in the houses. My father, let it be broken. Be broken, call of fire, my Jesus, heaven plantation. Now we take everything, search and destroy, plant it in the corner of the house, the house, the foundation, throw the heaven altars where the ancient, ancient is, witchcraft has put the bows, the bows of water, the bows of wicked, the evil pot of witchcraft, the evil tea pot of darkness that they buried and put it and that evil altars to connect the children of God. What goes? Thunder, fire, burn it, enamel, burn with the burning sulfur, change into ashes. One, two, three, fire the ghost, fire, burn, disconnect. Enough is enough. Release your children. Let them be released. Release your children. Take freedom. Receive freedom. Receive wisdom. Take wisdom. Take authority. Receive wisdom. Receive power. Take power. Receive the grace. The grace of my Father. Possess the grace in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be light wherever you are going. The light of God, your house. Now I take the power. My Father. This is the bowl of your blood. I lay a foundation on the side of the houses. Foundation on the corners of the houses. Blood, blood of Jesus. I pour the blood all over in the roof, the ceiling, under the bed, the blood. I close all the ancient altars. I pour the blood on it at the gates. The ancient altars. I pour the blood. I render you powerless. The blood of Jesus. It is a strong one. The blood of Jesus is burning your altars. The blood of Jesus is nullifying your altars. You are dead. It's nullifying all your content. You are being dead. I pour the blood and the fire. The whole of the houses. The foundation. There's blood. And all the documents in that closet. The documents that everything that cars that are under the blood that soak inside the blood because of the blood receive all the triumph take the triumph of God you will shall triumph take everything that Satan has stolen from you possess breakthrough possess wisdom the light take the light I link up your wisdom with the wisdom of Solomon possess the power the glory carry the heaviness of the glory of God receive your glory carry your glory resurrection power restoration in our body from your head to the sole of the feet your eyes your brain your eyes your mouth your throat your tongue your shoulders, your chest. Yes, receive the blood. Your organs, blood. Revive with the blood. Your knees, your waist, under the feet, the blood. Flow blood. Flow the thing of God. Mark this one not on their forehead with the cross of the blood. That any darkness, any witch, any demon, when they look at them, they must fear.
as soon as they see them. According to the book of Psalm 18, 44 to 45, they have to obey and become powerless. Seeing you, Lord, let their faces of the children of God be your face, Lord. I link up their face with your face in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Ebenezer. Thank you. Thank you, Lord of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for purification. We thank you, Lord, for restoring them. We thank you, Lord, for Father. Coming, Father, to them, Lord, and live in them. Do not, Father, be astray from them. Do not cast them away from your presence, Lord. Teach them your ways. Father, all what they want is to set their feet, to walk where you walk, to carry the cross where you carry the cross, to fall and survive and carry with the journey until you come back and find them praying and find them be on watch like your prophet said it. In Jesus' mighty name. May you be blessed, children of God. May he bless you going out and coming in. As I said it, prayers like this, you have to repeat it always. Even when you sleep, repeat it. Tomorrow or next week, keep on repeating. Jesus Christ, may he bless you. While we destroy what is taken from all his children in Jesus' mighty name. Keep on possessing. Keep on soaking everything that you possess with the blood that no darkness, no wicked enemy or Satan will come and take your breakthrough. In Jesus' mighty name, Emmanuel and Shalom. And you are dearly, highly loved by Mama Ruth, but your father loves me, love you more than me. So be blessed, child of God, because you are child or God's possession and you are precious in Jesus' mighty name.